Jersey, man. I'm a New Jersey gets embarrassed when I brag about New Jersey in front of New Jersey. But New Jersey has been kicking ass since noon on Friday. <laughs> I've heard some good, good, great things. Yeah, that's true. Can we make it official then? I think I should. I'm going to make this official. I now pronounce you <laughs> actor in town. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you guys. Okay, just real quick. These two. Uh, oh, my God. Sometimes it's, you know, you get it mixed up, right? It's, you know, it's just like, like kind of yin and yang over here. I have, a, I, I have one solid fail-proof way of telling these two apart. You want to know? You want to know what it is? Okay. We have Benedict. Still a dick. I did it. But in, in, in fairness, I knew something was coming because he was backstage going like this. <laughs> I knew, I knew he didn't do it when he walked over here, is it? Benedict, there was a lick of the lips all the way over there. Oh, it was a bull's lick lip stage cross. Oh, I love it. Brilliant. That's the kind of thing you only get in New Jersey. You're welcome. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I had that in my back pocket for a while. Yeah. 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 Hi guys. Dallas. I see uh, I see two sets of bright, bright lights. The back lighting on a lot of heads. Um, but I Who's first time? <laughs> Welcome, first timers, to our uh, wonderfully dysfunctional family. <laughs> oh, it was good? Good, bad? Good. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, uh, love you back. <laughs> we're thrilled to be back here. It's exciting. We are, we are almost halfway through season 12. Uh, <laughs> What's, what's the burden? And not even on? halfway done with the series. So, uh... Don't say stuff like that. How are y'all liking season 12 so far? How are y'all liking Sam's torture scenes? Stands out. 
Um, <laughs> Senor Ackles? Just one aspect about the brothers' lives? Yeah, like anything about their life. Um, it'd be nice if, if, uh, if they could stay in a hotel once in a while. <laughs> We had, um, we, uh... You're it's, in one. It's true. Hey, Daniil, calm down. Who wants you to? We had, uh, we do a lot of our capture and torture scenes in, like, abandoned places, so to speak. And they're generally run down and very, you know, uh, disgusting. Um, and a lot of those places aren't dressed up to look like that. They are that. Um, so there's, uh, there's been many buildings that we've, uh, that we've gone into that have been condemned because of asbestos or because of, it's like, not, right. and we're just like, oh, okay, but it's cool for us to work here? How does... There have been several times where members of our crew will be wearing face masks. Yeah, like hazmat suits, and they're like, hey guys, right this way. Or they're like, wait a second, why do you look like all the people from E.T.? Um, but uh, one of the at Riverview that one time we were walking through and I was like, oh, that's a nice touch. There's a big like condemned asbestos in the building. I was like, oh, that's a nice touch. Yeah, the set deck did a good job. That's attention to detail, impeccable. And they were like, that's no, that's not, real. That's real. <laughs> like, that's, why we, that's why we can rent the place so cheap. <laughs> People so, like taking hits off boxes. I remember um, <laughs> it was maybe a year or two ago when we were in one of these filthy, filthy places and. Uh, and I was talking to um, our, our B camera dolly grip, uh, Shane, and and we were talking about the place, and he just goes, he's like, why can't we ever torture somebody in the Four Seasons? <laughs> <laughs> so, that would be nice. Or maybe we hunt demons in Hawaii or something. <laughs> Little uh, onesie. Baywatch style, running down the beach. Yeah, none of that, none of that. Thank you very much, Sam. Hi, my name is Lock Juice, and um... Lock Juice? What did you hear? Wait, wait, did you hear it? No, 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 don't say that. I want to know what he heard. <laughs> I don't want you to poison his delicate ears. What did you hear her name was? Obtuse. At least I heard lock juice. I was like, is that Scottish? Lock mask, lock juice. It's not my real name, I prefer it, but anyway. What, what is your name? First, this is no. like one of those Rorschach like, like ink splatter tests. There's a psychologist somewhere in the building, like making notes. Jared heard a Scottish lake. Jason heard an angle of a triangle greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180. Okay, that's two for those who are keeping counting on the mic drops from Jerry. That's a, that's a good 
I heard Invisible Touch like a couple weeks ago on the radio and I was like, oh yeah, I haven't gone through a nice Phil Collins stage in a while. <laughs> so it's, it's a lot of, a lot of that. Um, what? Always. Yeah, you would say that. Um, she never leaves. She's with you. Well, uh, the new, the new basement tapes. That's, uh, that's, that's a cool one. They, uh, they found a bunch of, uh, old Bob Dylan songs, the, the, the basement tapes. And T-Bone Burnett and Elvis Costello, uh, got a really great band together and re-recorded a bunch of those songs. That's a really cool album if you ever heard that. What? Yes, great tune. Beyonce. Uh, Beyonce. I don't know. That's yeah. That that's kind of. There's always uh, there's always some SRV in there. There's always. Uh, you know, I also I also yeah I, I also after um, I also after ACL did uh, M83 for a little bit. Um, there we go. He's French. I don't know if you knew. I don't know if Rob knew. He's French. Rob. Stapleton. For those country fans out there. Yeah. There you go. There's a few. True. Second girl to play my sister named Sam on TV. I love Allison Sweeney. I'll take that. I started Gilmore Girls when I was 17, and I, when I did my first episode, I intended to go back to college um, and go back to UT Austin and be an engineer. I had my books, I had my schedule. Um, <laughs> Thank you for keeping me working. You know, yeah. but my parents are so proud of their college dropout. Well, but technically, you never went to college, so you didn't necessarily drop out. You true. just never showed up. Because you and I had the exact same story. We went, right. we got registered, we got classes, we right. got. I had, I had a dorm room assignment, I had a roommate set up. And then I was like, I'm not going. So technically, I didn't drop well, out. College, I never showed up. Truants. Or well, is the college truants? Yes. Yeah. Or college druids. Druids. <laughs> Lock juice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was awesome. I, I got to finally. I kind of touched on this earlier. I got to finally close a chapter in my uh, life that I didn't feel like I was able to because. When I, the last scene I ever did of Gilmore Girls, I was supposed to come back and do like five or six more, or possibly two and a half more seasons, however long Gilmore Girls went. Um, and then Supernatural happened, and the, the network and studio obviously put me on that. And so I was never able to go back and kind of finish Dean's story or explain kind of what happened. And it was always kind of a sadness I had. It's almost like if you look back in your past at high school, you're like, oh, I wish I could have done that differently. Or I wish I could have told this person that they meant that to me, or that told that person thank you, or talked to that teacher, or done something. I got to go back and do all of that. And so I'm really grateful for that opportunity. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Let's be proud.